The Amen, Revelation 3, verse 14. The word Amen solemnly confirms that which went before, and Jesus is the great confirmer, immutable, forever is the Amen in his promises. Sinner, I would comfort you with this reflection. Jesus Christ said, Come to me, all you who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. If you come to him, he will say, Amen, in your soul. His promise shall be true to you. He said, In the days of his flesh, the bruised reed I will not break. O poor, broken, bruised heart, if you come to him, he will say Amen to you, and that shall be true in your soul as in hundreds of cases in bygone years. Christian, is this not very comforting to you also, that there is not a word which has gone out of the Savior's lips which he has ever retracted? The words of Jesus shall stand when heaven and earth shall pass away. If you get hold of but a half a promise, you shall find it true. Beware of those who ignore the promises and so miss much of the comfort of God's word. Jesus is yes and amen in all his offices. He was a high priest of pardon and cleanse once. He is amen as priest still. He was a king to rule and reign for his people and to defend them with his mighty arm. He is an amen king, the same still. He was a prophet of old to foretell good things to come. His lips are most sweet and drop with honey still. He is an amen prophet. He is amen to the merit of his blood. He is amen as to his righteousness. That sacred robe shall remain most fair and glorious when nature shall decay. He is amen in every single title which he bears. Your husband never seeking a divorce. Your friend sticking closer than a brother. Your shepherd with you in death's dark valley. Your help and your deliverer. Your castle and your high tower. The horn of your strength, your confidence, your joy, your all in all and your yes and amen and all. The Amen, Revelation 3, verse 14.